I'm Lydia, and we're the Natural Area Stewardship Interns. We work with Steve Parrish at the Botanical Gardens in Arboretum. And today we will be sowing um, and mixing seed uh, for a disturbed site um, caused by the IT project here at the Arb. Um, the, we are here at the field office and the caretaker's cabin um, where it was ran underground um, down through the river landing. Um, and so we started here at the field office and it ran down through here, actually under the river. Um, and then he, right here are the disturbed sites we will be sowing seed on. So if you want to follow us, um, we can go see the wildflower seeds. As part of the project, $2,000 were set aside for restoration purposes. Um, and we spent almost all of that on wildflower seeds. So you can see them all um, here. We have two grasses um, and nine different forbs, which are herbaceous broadleaf plants like different wildflowers. Um, so we got all these seeds from Michigan Wildflower Farm. Um, there's things like early metaru and wild bergamot. Um, and so if initially just looking at them, um, you might wonder why they cost $2,000. Um, but if you think about it, so this is a bag of columbine seed. You can see they're really small. Um, and one columbine plant will just give a few of these seeds. So you need a ton of plants um, to be able to get a Ziploc bag of seed like that. Um, so that's why they cost so much, so much money. Um, it's also really cool. If you look closely, you can see the variety of different sh seed shapes. Um, so this one is Golden Alexander, which looks a lot different than the Columbine, um, which looks a lot different than Early Meadow Rue, um, or this tall thimbleweed, which is super woolly and fuzzy. So these seed types were chosen um, for the um, site um, based on the soil and the um, sun uh, there. So um, these were chosen for a part sun, part shade. Um, and we're mixing these now. Um, you, ideally, you want to have wet soil. Um, so we've had rain the past few days, so there should be wet soil or a lightweight rain after, but a heavy rain will wash away the seed, and given how expensive it is, we don't want that to happen. Um, and the ideal time to sow the seed is from mid-May to mid-June. Um, so we're a little outside that window, but it's still good to get these down. Um, we can also sow these um, towards late summer and early fall, but we've chosen to, to do these now instead. So we're going to put an equal part of each of the seeds um, in this bucket. So I'm going to put about a quarter of the bag in. So this is New England Aster. We've got the columbine seeds. And here is the Canada wild rye. This is Golden Alexander. And here is um, Culver's root. Next we've got early meadow rue. And here is um, wild bergamot. Next we've got three lobed cone flower. And smooth aster here. We have the tall thimbleweed. We will be mixing this um, with the standard potting soil here. All right, so we'll be mixing the seed first. Um, and now um, into the soil. The 
reason we're mixing it with potting soil is because it allows all the different kinds of seeds to distribute a little more evenly so the smaller seeds like the columbine um, won't fall to the bottom um, so these will all be spread evenly throughout the soil which um, will allow us to spread it with um, confidence that you've got an even distribution see all the different seeds in there um, the tall thimble weed's been broken up it's the giant clump it was. Hello everyone, we're here at the site where we're going to be planting the seeds. You can see behind us this area um, where there's very little growing is all the disturbed area from the IT project. And so we're, the first step is to remove um, the, um, see, oh, the weeds here um, in order to remove their seed heads um, in order to give the native plants a fighting chance here. Um, so we're going to weed whip um, to remove the matter here. Um, next, um, in a normal day we would um, scratch the soil to increase texture um, and increase seed contact with the soil. Um, but today, since it's wet enough, um, we are not going to do that step. After that, we'll be actually sowing the seeds, so we're going to take small handfuls of that soil we mixed up earlier and sprinkle it evenly across the disturbed area. And then the last step is to take straw and sprinkle the straw over those seeds. Um, that keeps the seeds from eroding or washing away if there's hard rain and um, birds and animals from picking at them and eating. 